So joy comes in, you know, mm -hmm. in living above above the fate that they may they may they, maybe they'll escape the fate, you know. So, um, you know, there's an interesting thing I read during World War II. The Third Reich um, had a a command. This is amazing. They had their own uh, uh, army of looters, people who stole. I didn't know that. You know, people who, they had a guy who was the head of it, a legitimate office. He looted. That's what they did. They went to towns, countries, they stole art and books, lots and lots of books. And they took them and they hid them in the warehouses in Austria and Poland. So after the war, um, uh, Israel felt that since it was this re re repository of all of the Jewish people, the remnant of the Jewish people, they had the, they had they were taking in the people. They had a right to the Jewish treasures. Only they would protect the Jewish treasures. So they sent out people uh, to try to get these books. Well, there was a lot of problems with this. Czechoslovakia didn't want to give up its books. Poland wouldn't want to give up its books. But somehow, Israel uh, got many of the books. And the reason why, this is fascinating, the reason why, you know, in the uh, Jewish, uh, uh, I think it's, it's in the Talmud, or is it? Yes, it's a, one of the major Jewish things is to retrieve all prisoners. You have to return all prisoners. That's one of the biggest um, things. In Israel, the army gets uh, hurt many, many times, not because they're fighting, but because they have to retrieve a comrade. They must go back. That's a Jewish uh, thing. All, all uh, prisoners have to be, all, everybody that, that's held has to be released, has to be retrieved in one way or another way. So, that's where Israel got the idea that these treasures must be retrieved. They treated it as a holy mission. Mm -hmm. That the people had to be retrieved, now we have to retrieve the treasures of whatever it was. So this, in a way, is a kind of retrieving. Bringing back, saving. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Bringing out and making something of it making something again to learn from it or something like that. So it's interesting.